Thanksgiving is less than two weeks away and a lot of people are already shopping for ingredients for their holiday meal. News on 6's Mallory Thomas went to a local grocery store to see what shoppers should expect. Of course, the biggest thing on everyone's mind right now is Thanksgiving and Jeff Reeser of Reeser's Foods tells me that you shouldn't see a shortage of turkeys at your local Reeser's. These frozen turkeys and spiral hams are in high demand for the holidays. Jeff Reeser says all of these are ordered a year in advance. We may sell more this year than what we would have thought we would sell because the, our competitor may not have it. Now we always order about 10% extra. He says rumors about a turkey shortage have not impacted his stores because they've received 100% of their holiday order. But that doesn't mean you should wait until the last minute. Shortages that you'll occasionally see in the stores, not just us, but across all sorts of vendors, uh, so much of it is supply side driven. And, that's, and that drives some of the inflation. And that means the price of groceries is going to be higher before the end of the year. People think we're manipulating the system, but it's, uh, we, it's actually, we're a little closer to the supply line. Uh, and so when things go up or down, that's why we tend to react to it a little bit quicker. He says the current inflation is increasing about 1% each month. If you buy $100 a week, well, that's $5. We use a simple example. Uh, that doesn't, maybe doesn't sound like that much. But when you really break it down, that could be 10 items that have gone up 50 cents. And Reeser says the best thing to do is just go ahead and pick up that food item that you're needing for Thanksgiving the next time you're at the grocery store to make sure you have it. In Tulsa Mallory Thomas, Oklahoma's own News on 6.